Thank you for joining me today. My name is Lee Reams with ClientWise, and today's tutorial is going to go over our beta release of the portal upgrade with the folder functionality. So the first thing uh, you need to do is log into your ClientWise marketing dashboard and navigate to the client section. Uh, most of the changes that we have made on this update are going to be found under the client detail area under the documents tab. So right now I'm on my test account, Lee Reams, um, on the documents tab here on the bottom. And you'll see somewhat of a new interface. So we try to make this uh, upgrade familiar in functionality to what uh, you're used to, but add some new um, tools that will enable you to work more efficiently. So the first thing you'll notice now is we have the ability to add a new folder. We have the ability to add notes. You'll see here folders shared by client and then um, a folder here, Spencer Wilson. So uh, if you have not created any folders, we basically store all files at the top level and all of those files will be stored here. So if I right now drag a file in, it's gonna upload to this main section. This is considered the top level directory. So again, if you're not using folders and you wanna continue using tags in the way you uh, manage files before, you don't need to do anything. Everything will be uh, located here. You'll be able to search um, your tags here in the search tool and even search for uh, different file names. So if you wanted to organize your files differently uh, in folders, you now can hit uh, new folder. So I'm gonna create a folder. I'm gonna hit create. It has now loaded the folder. So a couple of little things here on navigation that you'll see with the tools and just understanding. When you um, create a folder, uh, if you have added zero files in it, it won't show anything. Once you've added a file, you get a little counter here. You'll also notice here on the right side, until there's files loaded, it will say no files. And then there's this little toolbar, these three dots. If you click on, it will drop down the ability to edit the name of the folder. Uh, make this a favorite if you wanted to keep it at the top. Uh, and you can also move files and folders around. You can delete uh, folders uh, from here as well. So if we wanted to uh, load files into this folder, we just click into it and you'll see now we have a breadcrumb and this will show you where you are. So if you created even another subfolder here, so let's just say we wanna do, it will then continue and I click into it, it will continue the breadcrumb down. So if I wanted to go back to all folders, I click all folders. If I wanted to go into the 1040 files, I just click the folder name and now I'm there. If I wanted to add files to this folder, uh, drag and drop Chrome and Firefox, uh, you can browse out in other browsers, um, but basically I'm just gonna drag and drop a file in here and I have now added a file. So. Uh, we have changed the notification side, so the file does not share until you share it with the client. So just loading files now does not necessarily um, uh, notify the client that the file is available. You'll also see the status bar. Um, we'll have private, shared, uh, and viewed, so you will know, you know when a client has downloaded. So if we wanted to share this particular file with um, a client, we could do one or two ways. One, we can share a folder, or two, we can share just a file. So if we wanted to share a folder, we would come up here to uh, the folder name that you wanna share, click the share button. It will pre-populate the client's email address here. You can still send to groups uh, that you've created in your list. You have the ability to edit your subject. You have the ability to edit your message. When you hit notify, you'll see that this folder is now shared and an email notification will have gone out to your client uh, to let them know that the file is available. So let's say you were using the old format and now want to move files to folders. There's a, a tool to do this. Let's say we wanted to move these to separate folders. If I click on this file and I go to the more options, you will now see a move option. If I go to move, I can say, okay, I wanna put it in the 2015 1040 files. You'll see that it moved it there, it updated the counter. If I wanted to move this file, same thing. Just click on the little toolbar, hit move, choose where you're moving the file, and now the counter increases. Um, so if I wanted to create more folders, I just hit uh, add folder, create, and now I have my folder. So all of the folders that you're using in your workspace will be over here up on top. If a client has shared a folder with you um, from their side, 
they'll be stored here. You can move files from the client side into your folders if you like, or you can keep it organized the way the client has uh, decided to uh, organize the files. Um, so this release is only going to affect the clients tab, the documents uh, section within the clients tab. If you were sending files through the message center, uh, they will be at the top level directory. So uh, they will not be in folders at this point. So anytime you want to add a folder and share a folder, you want to do it through the clients tab uh, going forward. We're also going to create another uh, tutorial for the client view so you can get an idea of what they see. Uh, if you have any questions, please email help at clientwise.com or any bug reports, please also send them uh, to us at that email and kind of give us as much uh, detail as you can. Uh, we'll continue to upgrade and work on this. This is just the first release and uh, we hope you enjoy it. Thank you.